when I think of Muay Thai fighters, I think of people from Thailand. I think of their pride in their combat sport, and I think of how they feel about other people practicing Muay Thai. Muay Farong. I want to talk about a few notable Muay Farong. I want to outline their accomplishments and what made them respected by the Muay Thai community in Thailand. Toshio Fujiwara was the first non-Thai Muay Thai fighter to win a national Muay Thai title in Bangkok, Thailand. He became the first ever non-Thai stadium champion in 1978. Toshio made a large impact on Muay Thai and gained a lot of respect in Thailand. Danny Bill is a 7 time Muay Thai world champion. He had his first fight at 14 in France where he grew up and by the time he was 15 he was the French Muay Thai champion. In 1993 he was the first European fighter to win the world title in Bangkok. Danny Bill has retired twice and came out of retirement twice and is currently a trainer. Danny Bill is a well-decorated, fast, and technical Muay Thai fighter. Ramon Deckers is likely the most famous non-Thai Muay Thai fighter in the world. Ramon was known for his willingness to go to Thailand to fight their top fighters. In 1990, he would defeat the Thai Lumpani Stadium Champion. Ramon would fight some of the best fighters Thailand has to offer, and he would cement himself as one of the best non-Thai fighters in the world. His aggressive, explosive fighting style helped him grow in popularity.
on one of the anniversaries for the King of Thailand, Ramon Deckers was given a reward for his service to Muay Thai in the sport. Ramon was also made the ambassador for all foreign fighters in Thailand. Ramon would say, this is very important to me. It is the greatest recognition I can get for what I have achieved in this sport. All of these non-Thai fighters are still talked about today and going over their bibliographies, it's interesting to see how close it is to modern time. It wasn't hundreds of years ago that these people were fighting, it was hundred, less than 50.